Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is an anthology from Poland, Polish language English subs, released in the year 2021, directed by Veronica Anderson, Philip Hellesland, Maciej Motika, and Maciej Zalitski. This film is called The Land. So The Land is about human emotion, yeah, frustration and anger, and how it can turn regular people into very dangerous people. So you have a host of characters that, uh, for instance, one of them's going shopping, the other one's gone to work, and another one has a new neighbour. So each story starts off innocently, but then raw emotions start to get the better of them and they've passed the point of no return by the end. So it has bloody aftermaths and very shocking events and what those events are is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on The Land. I'd never heard about this film, but the reason why I was very excited is because Poland is probably the most exciting European country uh, recently to come out as far as world cinema is concerned. Now, Poland have made films in the past, but not quite as regular as they are now. They're very prolific, and not only are they prolific, but they're actually making really good stuff, and so it's definitely an up-and-comer as far as world cinema is concerned. I definitely feel as though they are a very exciting area of the world, and so we all, all need different countries to introduce themselves as far as quality cinema is concerned, and Poland Poland is definitely one of those countries, especially on Netflix, seeing a lot of Polish movies on Netflix recently. And so that was the reason why I had a lot of hope and excitement for The Land. This is an anthology, I heard nothing about it, but the fact that it was a Polish film, I was hoping that it was going to be another impressive experience. And I can thankfully say that The Land is another Polish film that you can add to the list of very impressive experiences. This is a film that is an anthology, and I thought it really nailed the brief as far as making a short film is concerned. This is a film that has these short stories that tie up loose ends and you don't need to learn anymore. I've said a lot uh, in the past about anthologies that I feel as though they are long movies that have just been cut short and so it doesn't tie up loose ends and I want to know more but each story in this film really nails everything that a short story is. You don't need to know more because it rounds up everything, it just it concludes all the curiosity. And it's not often that you get anthologies that understand this process, and I definitely feel as though these directors in the land really understood that, and it really capped off these short stories in a way that I thought were very explosive, they're very dark, very brutal, a lot more brutal than I thought it would be, and it almost borders on horror. But it also has a lightheartedness, and it has something that the viewer can really relate to. Now, as far as fantasy is concerned, we all have that fantasy in the shopping centre. If someone's annoying us, they're going too slow in the aisle, or they're taking up too much room and you can't get past, and you always have that fantasy of just ramming them with the trolley, or maybe it's just me, my six sort of uh, you know, thoughts. But we never act on that because we're not psychopaths. But this movie, it's almost like the outlet of all that frustration that we have, is that in this film, they actually do what we think. And so I thought as though that was really fun, and because you're actually acting out on something that we've all actually felt, whether it's in the supermarket or a very annoying neighbours, where we just feel as though we could just tell them to shut up and you know just you know, be quiet, but we don't do that because we don't want that confrontation. But this film actually produces that confrontation in a way that I thought was very cathartic. And I thought as though this uh, this movie had very therapeutic violence in a very sick way. So if you are like that and you like films that show you in a very darkly comic uh, you know, aspect of you know human emotions, then I definitely feel as though The Land is going to be for you. I thought as though it was very well acted, the production was very good, and I thought as though the pacing was excellent, is that these characters, they seem harmless enough, but it's showing you what people are capable of once they're pushed to the absolute brink. So having the relatable qualities and having that exaggerated sense of acting out on these fantasies, I thought as though it was something that the viewer can relate to and actually have a lot of fun with. So the overall acting I thought was very good, the stories were very different from each other, the thing that that really ties all the stories together is that human emotion and it's different aspects of where we've been in our lives as I said whether it's a supermarket where it's a boss at work we don't like we wish we could just you know run him over uh, this is a film that it, it relieves that sense of frustration it's the outlet for all that inner torment that we have and so I thought as though that was really smartly done and it does border on horror without really going into that horror element it's just more of a very very pitch black dark comedy that I thought really worked and I thought as though the relatability was definitely a very welcome surprise if I have an issue with this movie I will say that it's not overly uh, memorable 
It's not going to have an everlasting effect on you because it is a short story, a collection of short stories that don't intertwine into a massive story. So it's kind of like uh, the, the thing that really goes against a lot of anthologies is that they are very fun, but they stay at fun. And that's how I would say The Land is. It's this very fun film, and it's definitely one that you can watch over and over very, very easily. But it's not a movie that's going to win awards. But having said that, it's not a film that wants to win awards. It's just a movie that wants to relate to the viewer and allow you to have a lot of fun because it's acting out on those dark thoughts that we've all had, but we don't act on because we're sane, but it's allowing us to be insane through these characters and what they ha actually have to face. And so if you like really dark anthologies, The Land is for you. It is very basic, but I thought it was very fun. And as a result of that, I'm gonna give this film three and a half stars. All right, guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time you watch your movies and I'll see you later.